Summon of the Experts, Joe Dynasty, News Flash. How the Joe Dynasty Begun The Joe Dynasty began in 1045 to 256 BC. The Shang ruler was making laws that the people did not agree with. King Wu, a leader at that time, crossed the dangerous Yellow River and began the Battle of Muse. King Wu and many other unhappy people defeated the Shang and started the Zhou Dynasty. Leaders The king that defeated the Shang was King Wu. Wu was the first independent king of China and the first king of the Zhou Dynasty. What made King Wu so important was that he crossed the dangerous Yellow River and beat the Shang. There was also a general named Sun Tzu who wrote a book called The Art of War. The book was about war strategies and battle tactics. Also, another important person who made a difference was Confucius. He started the religion Confucianism. It is a belief that he was born around 551 BC in Lu's province in the Zhou Dynasty. Also, another important person was Lao Tao. He started the religion Taoism. The symbol for Taoism is yin yin yang. Structure of government. The laws during the Zhou Dynasty differed for each state. Laws were different because each state had its own lord who could come up with any laws he wanted. Depending on which state people lived in, the people had different laws. The government during the Zhou Dynasty used the system of feudalism. Feudalism is a system where the king owns a big chunk of land. Since the land is so big, he gives out land to people called lords. Because the king gave the lord a small piece of land, the lord must protect the land or else he shall be kicked out of the system. Social classes and jobs. In the Zhou Dynasty, there were many types of social classes. All classes have to act differently, the highest having the most freedom and rights. For example, the farmers in the Zhou Dynasty live in bamboo houses with no furniture, while the noblemen lived in large lavish houses with silk curtains and bronze cups. Noblemen and lords were of the highest class, while farmers, merchants, goldsmiths, blacksmiths, stonemasons, servants, merchants, craftsmen, warriors, artisans, and miners were of lower classes. Although slaves were people, they were not considered a class. There were a variety of jobs in the Zhou Dynasty. There were farmers who planted and harvested crops, and kings who ruled the dynasty. There were rich noblemen and servants who worked for the noblemen above them. There were also stonemasons, miners, craftsmen, and slaves, blacksmiths, goldsmiths, warriors, and merchants. Food and entertainment. There were ample amounts of food in the Zhou Dynasty. Some of these foods are rice, rice wine, millet, sorghum, tea, wheat, pork, sheep, cattle, cucumbers, bok choy, peaches, lemons, oranges, and apricots. Some of these things, like rice and millet, were common food for people in the Zhou Dynasty. And others, like peaches, could be grown and used to decorate meals. The Zhou invented vessels for carrying food and water. The Zhou used the hoe for wine storage and the ting for food storage. Role of Women and Children The role of women and children in the Zhou Dynasty was lesser than the role of men. In the Zhou Dynasty, women could not go to school and be educated. Women had to do whatever their husband and their mother-in-law told them. Most people in the Zhou Dynasty were not educated. You could only go to school if you were a boy. Most schools were very small and only had one room. Boys who went to school started at the age of six. Art, Architecture, and Impact People kept on making the bronze sacrificial jars and cups that they had made under the Shang Dynasty. The places were mainly built of big wooden beams. The Zhou learned how to make objects from iron. The Zhou invented the use of iron, coins, chopsticks, and the crossbow. A crossbow is a weapon where you latch an arrow to the crossbow, flip a switch, and the arrow will fly into the air. The crossbow was used for shooting from behind a wall or fortress. The Joe would have needed the crossbow because they could use it in their military. Fall, 
from power. There was a time in the Zhou Dynasty when the states broke out in battle. This time was called the Warring States Period. When the king saw that there was nothing he could do, he fled and left the states to fight. Then, out of nowhere, a lord named Qin conquered the Warring States and started the Qin Dynasty.